All right, this is my video review of the double stack 1911 made by Rock Island Armory. Um, I was looking at the pair of ordnance P14 1911. It's a double stack 1911, and you're looking at about a thousand dollars or more for that for that 1911. So I got to looking around, and I didn't even know Rock Island Armory was making double stack 1911s. Uh, the magazine that came with it was a standard P14 45 ACP made in Italy. Uh, this holds 13 rounds, uh, and then you got the 14th round in the chamber, so you got 13 plus uh, 1, so that makes it overall 14 rounds in the 1911. Now, you can find Metgar magazines that this looks like a Metgar, just don't say Metgar on it, but um, they actually hold 14 rounds, and then there's uh, one that has a extended plate that holds 16 rounds uh, so it stinks that it sticks out maybe three quarters of an inch and you have 16 rounds in the magazine and you have the 17th one in the barrel so you get 17 rounds of 45 that's uh, that's what I'm talking about but anyways um, this gun here man I have nothing but good things to say about this gun first of all I've always been shooting single stack 1911s for the longest time and I'm the what I really desires I only got seven uh, or eight rounds. You know, the chip magazines, you got eight rounds. They do make ten rounders, but they stick out like a half inch and or maybe sometimes an inch. And I, I like the feel of the single stack uh, 1911s, but these double stack 1911s, I mean, you have 13 plus one rounds, and on some occasions you got 16 plus one rounds. It depends on what type of magazine you get. And I'm talking about it's just a really great 1911 I mean if you look right here it's a little thicker yeah but it uses thinner grips okay it uses thinner grips through here I'm pretty sure um, that the only thing different about this 1911 is the size of the um, magazine release as you can see it goes all the way through and um, the grips I think everything else it will take normal 1911 parts like the slide, the hammer, all this, this, uh, the beaver tail, all this here, uh, mat, the spring housing, all this um, is all just regular 1911 stuff. But anyways, this is the Rock Island Armory 1911, and um, I really like this double stacked 1911. So it really feels great in the hand. I mean. If you got, I'd say I got like a medium sized hands. I don't have small hands. I don't have humongous meat hanger hands. Uh, but as you can see, my hand fits around that whole 1911 all the way a little past the grips. And then I can come here with a support hand. And it feels really great. I'm, I'm not going to lie. This, this gun really is a great gun. Um, but anyways, enough talking. I'm just going to give you some close-ups now because uh, unlike some people on YouTube, I can't upload 50-minute videos. So let's go ahead and uh, just get some close-up shots. So Let's see. I'm not aiming this at my face. It's just into the camera. You can see right down the barrel in the rifling. Um... So, open up. There's the feed ramp. There's the pipe. I keep forgetting there's a decock. So, um, okay. Now, how to field strip. What I like to do, cock it and put it on safe. Put the gun like this. Push the plunger in. Since this is a pretty new gun, it takes some time to push it in. You can't have sissy hands to do this. So you got to take that little deal out. And so I'm gonna rush through this. Like I said, I can't upload 50-minute videos on like some people on YouTube. There's the bushing off safety. Go to the back to the groove, and then you just push on the other side. This uh, thing in my bobber comes out, magazine release. Go all the way forward. Pull that off. You got the that, all this here. You flick that thingy down, and you just right on out of there. It's a little dirty, not too bad. There's all the good joy. And that's how you feel tripping gonna wonder well how do I put it back together so here's the barrel it's a little polished right there pretty good slide that bad old barrel right back in there and I like to put my bushing back on to hold the barrel in there so I'm gonna put that bushing in turn it right there lock it in place 
and then I'm going to go ahead and put my flick that little thing up right there and I'll put my little spring in there and guide, oh it's not really a guide, it's a half-assed guide, but that's okay. We're going to slide this back on the rails, hold it upside down sort of to get it all the way through and sometimes that little mammy sucker in there there we go you gotta match that little link that's on the barrel to this magazine release you just put it in there like so uh, didn't match it up okay there we go and then go all the way to that little notch and since there's a a big hunk of meat right here in this little area because it's a double stack 1911 you gotta come further out with it you don't go up or else you put a big scratch there and I call that the noob scratch you just pull it out a little bit, go right there and push it back in, and there it goes click. You push this forward, put it back on safe, and then you want to take your little plunger. Now watch this plunger, okay? It's kind of dirty. You see all that dirtiness there? Not too bad. And what I like to do is just rotate. Now, I'm cynical about this. I don't know about y'all, but there's like little grooves in there, and I just like them going straight up and down, those little checkering, I guess. I just push it down like this all the way down. I don't know why people need tools to do this. I just do it with no tools. And off safety. Rack a few times. Dry fire. Dry fire. Dry fire. Still holding the trigger. Still holding the trigger. I rack it. Let off the trigger. Let it reset. Dry fire. Come back. Put the safety on while the grip safety is engaged. Okay, that's working. We we'll take it off safety. Hold it this way. The grip safety is working. Okay, that's good. And we know this pistol is all working good. So anyways, this here is the Rock Island Armory Double Stacked 1911. If you're considering a Double Stacked 1911 for around the $500 range, then do consider this pistol. Because it's definitely a money saver. And high dollar 1911s are no better than the... $500 1911s. Do granted, there are some shitty um, 1911s out there, but I mean that's only far in between. You you can't really. I mean, in my experience, Rock Island Army is a really great company, made in the Philippines. That's the receiver there, or the pistol, yeah, receiver. It takes the standard pair ordnance P14 mags, but like I said earlier, you can get you some. Uh, the Think Pair Ordnance makes the 16 uh, and 15 round mags uh, for this, and they only come out maybe a hair. The butt plate's just a little longer, and then they have the actual 14 plus one round, and the butt plate's maybe a quarter inch longer than this, and you don't really notice that well. But anyways, like I said, it's a really great, really great gun. There's my decock. Uh, j just while I'm doing this video with a 1911. Some people say there's like this myth going around on all over the place about does decocking hurt your gun. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, dry firing doesn't hurt it because when you shoot the gun and the bullet goes off and the bullet goes down the chamber or down the pipe and comes out there, that's a all a violent act. Okay, it's putting more torque on the gun than you dry firing it, so that doesn't hurt anything. Uh, as far as decocking it, uh, if you decock it and let it slam into the half cock position then yeah that will damage your gun uh... that's like taking this pulling the trigger while that's hold back and then you let off the trigger and just slam it into the half cock position then that that hurts that sear in there and uh... if you want to replace that sear basically you tap out this little pin here you let your hull your tr um, spring group out and this will wiggle off and you put this in the it's 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 not too hard there's videos on youtube you can figure that out but anyways Double Stack 1911, Rock Island Armory. If you're thinking about getting one in the $500 range, then do have a look at this. And uh, I'm running out of time here, so I'm just going to go ahead and let y'all get some in close shots of it before my 10 minutes runs out. And uh, it's a little oily, but that's okay. You can see down that chamber right there into the chamber. There's the firing pin in there. You can see it because my camera is extra good. But anyways, like I said, do consider it. I mean, you don't have to take my word for it, but if you're thinking about buying one, at least go to the gun show and find one and 
and see for yourself. And uh, that's in the video. Hope I helped out. See you later.